And we are returned where we are, though in a far better state. I healed myself a little bit. Picked up Donna back at uh, Master Dragon's place, because she died. She, or rather, she teleported there, back there. And I sold a bunch of crap. To give us a bit more money again. And we were level up, so let's work on that. Now, last level, pretty sure we picked up Sorcerer, yes. So now it's time for more Barbarian. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Points in Intimidate, of course. Points in Law. And the rest will save to up Spellcraft. Well, there we go. That was a quick, simple one. Now, I think it will be wise to firstly save here. So we'll make a quick save. And then rest. Oh, it's too dangerous. Secure room to rest. Well, then we will go in. Dead polar bears and yes. Yes, apparently it is a dragon. Oh, and it's coming towards well, me. Well, well, well. A little intruder, is it? Uh, Alright. Let's get a little look at you, Ben. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. Interesting. You are quite aware. Oh, wait. Sorry. Wrong for you are quite aware that you are hu you are a human man, Warmling. Hmm. Of course, I of course I am aware of that. You needn't get so excited, little one. It's hard enough to tell the small races from one another. Even without all your silly inbreeding, so don't get angry at me. Now, let's see. It's been quite a while since I last saw my last human. Your type breeds so quickly, however, I suppose it is inevitable. But enough of that. What else do you have with you? Hmm. A dwarven woman, is it? A beardless dwarven woman, no less. You act the ancient superior, dragon. But I can see your true age. Do not think uh, that uh, all your, all who you are, who are so small, are as short of wit. Right. Hmm. A good thing for you, too, little one, else you'd have barely possesses. You'd barely possess the intelligence to carry your weapon. Mock me if you wish, dragon! I'm not frightened of you! Frightened? Why ever should you be frightened? We are merely conversing here, aren't we? Like civilized sentient beings, yes. And what about it? Is it... Hmm, I wonder if I should be insulted or pleased at such poor showing. So... What are you supposed to be, little human man? I was thinking that you were perhaps a knight of a great kingdom. And then it occurred to me that I may as well ask. I am no knight, I am a wielder of the arcane marts. I may not be a knight, but I am a warrior, yes. So what does that mean? I don't 
don't even rank a proper knight from an actual kingdom. Uh, no offense, Warmling, but a dragon has to have his standards. At any rate, I, I realize this may not be your forte, Warmling, but might you indulge a bored dragon with a song, perhaps? The kobolds are simply awful at such things, you see. Well, I'm quite a apt singer, dragon. But I am not. I do not sing. I will not be toyed with, dragon. No. Well, that's very sad. I do so enjoy being amused. So, enough of what I want. I'd like to find out what you want, Warmling. Surely you came here for a reason. I am here to talk to you, but Deacon... You send those kobolds to attack Hilltop! Correction! I sent the kobolds to steal artifacts, not to attack the human village. Kobolds being what they are, however, I'm sure they got carried away. Not that I am very concerned over the matter, but just how is it that you know these were my kobolds? This isn't the only cave with co of kobolds in this mountain swarmling. Deacon told me about you. Ah, Deacon. My finest experiment, really. You can lead a kobold to water, but can you make him think? At first, I thought I would never be able to teach the sad uh, lad anything at all. All he would do is cower about me and cry, Master! If I, if I so much twitched. Not much has changed, as far as I can see. Oh, how about I twitch a little in your direction and see how the famous dwarven stamina holds up. If you wish, I refuse to be intimidated by you, lizard. Yes, yes, very droll. How the, how the other races must be thankful your kind bury themselves underground. Now, where was I? Ah, yes, Deacon. He was a slow learner indeed. But he improved remarkably with time. Obviously, you encountered him somewhere in the world above, yes? Tell me, where is he now? I'm not going to... Oh, sorry. I am not going to tell you that! No, I could force the answer out of you, I'm sure, if I truly desired it. But I don't just yet. And we have been having such a pleasant discussion. Why ruin it? But you said you wished to talk about Deacon, didn't you? What about him? He wants to be free of your service. Ah, poor Deacon. For such a little kobold, he has very big dreams. Very foolish dreams. To be sure, but dreams nonetheless. I should never have sent him away. Hmm. I must say, this entire business with the artifacts has been rather irritating. I would never really needed them to begin with and acquiring them has been more difficult than I'd liked. All that effort, for instance, and what do I end up with? 
A mask I cannot even use. Jenna lied about the power these objects hold. A great many other things as well, I am certain. Jenna. <sighs> How the mere name of that creature fills me with bile. The sheer audacity. The temerity. It is an affront to my draconic stature, I tell you. Why? What is this did this Jenna do? Jenna first approached me two moons ago, sending a letter introducing herself and making a proposal that she knew I would find hard to resist. There were magical artifacts of great power within easy reach, she said, guarded by a dwarven wizard. Working together, we could overcome him. All she desired in return for her aid, she claimed, was a single artifact. The rest I could keep for myself. And which, art which artifact was that? A statue of a tower, I believe. I imagine now it's the only artifact with any real worth. I agreed to her terms and found out after my kobolds returned from the raid that she had dared to attack them. She tried to take all the artifacts for herself. Jenna commands the kobolds, the, the gnolls then, I mean. Try to keep up with me, Warmling. Yes, it is Jenna who commanded the Kurdenos to attack my kobolds. I had, after all, sent them in earlier to take all the artifacts for myself. So you broke your deal with her? And of what relevance, uh, and what relevance is uh, of that? I wanted to see the statue for myself before I even considered releasing it. Why would she want it after all, unless it was the best? I am a dragon, and I will not allow myself to be tricked by a mere lesser being. The fact that she attacked my minions only proves her deceitful intent. A rather interesting justif just justification for your betrayal, dragon. Not that I object. Indeed, it's the only too bad that the two of you haven't killed each other uh, already. Are you still speaking, little dwarf? I find your master to be much more entertaining, so be silent. He is not my master, dragon. We are comrades, and I'll speak as often as I wish. Dorna, I, I, I'm not your master, but I am better than you. Oh, you're not, you arrogant little bastard! Such bravado. You would almost think I couldn't hear your dwarf and heart beating like a cornered rabbit. No, I will speak to your master now. Tell me, what do you know of Jinna, little one? For all I know, you would have could have been sent by her. Jenna is my enemy, as she is yours. For she, uh, I don't like Nose either. And if she is also part to blame for this attack, then she should also die. Why do you say also? Are you planning something, Warmling? Maybe. Truly, now, my little friend, is a, that is a fortunate thing indeed for both of us. There is a saying amongst dragons warmling. It goes thus, sweet as blood, rich as flame, rarer than gold, this deadly game. Do you know of what I speak of? Is it revenge? Very good. Revenge indeed. 
I desire vengeance upon Jinnah. Kill her for me, little one, and you shall be rewarded. Why not? Why not kill her yourself? Ah, how oh, that's an excellent question. I imagine I very well could do such a thing. Hunt down the little villainess and exact my revenge personally. Jinda, however, has superiors. Superiors who wield great deals of power. I would not anger them if I can afford it. So we should anger them. Yes, you do not look like the type who cares much. Or who thinks much on such things. You are quite right on that, Dragon. <clears throat> and where do I find this, Jen? Who are these superiors of ours? I want to kill them too! I do not know for certain. I can only suspect. Still, I would rather risk, risk be yours than mine. I am certain you understand. Where do I find this, Jenna? I will tell you where to find her, naturally. And should I refuse? Should you refuse? Why? Then I suppose I would decide. I would decide to be upset over this great number of kobolds you uh, no doubt have slain in order to get to me. This is going to be very unwise and probably get me killed. However, Dar would choose. Then I refuse. I would rather kill you, beast. I do hope you have something to back that up. That infinite mouth of yours, Warmling, or it would be a short battle indeed. I will destroy you, Dragon. Des let's this end now. Oh. Help! Help! It is a dragon! I am scared now! It was this was a bad idea! So, yes. I think this uh, will be a short battle indeed. Oh, I need to be healed! It's one down. Oh dear, I'm so scared! However, the dragon is bugging out on the scenery! If I didn't be scared all the time, I might make a chance, but this is fairly pointless. So, I will reload. And skip through the conversation back to where we were out. So, we will see. Or, what I could do, I can give it another try if I'm rest, I think. Let's find a... Can I rest here? No. I could rest with the, uh, the cobalt area, so... I rest here! Then return! And then uh, we will... Um, see if I can one more time face the dragon. And if not, we will probably just agree to his terms. Because, uh, yeah, as it sounds right now... Not much of a chance. Are these rooms secure? I can so. I'm also not going to do the whole conversation again in that uh, dragon voice. Because while I can do it for a fairly long time, it is training on a voice. There we go, we rested. So when we return. We will be facing the dragon. So we are back here. And now we have protection of her from evil cast upon ourselves. Which should make us immune to mind, uh, mind effects from evil characters. But I'm not sure it works on dragon auras. But we'll see. 
So let's give it one more go. I will destroy you, dragon. Let's end this now! No quarter! Aha! See? Now we aren't afraid. Now we have a very, very, very slim chance. Let's use every potion I got. Actually, potion of speed. <laughs> Are you going to attack? You need to be healed! Ha! I did damage, but... Oh dear. So... I suppose we might need to temper Dar's character a little bit. Maybe inspire a little bit of fear in him. Just a little bit. Because this ain't happened. Despite now being in fear, as we see, yeah, impossible. That ain't happening. So let's uh, all rush through the conversation. Well, well, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, I'm aware of that. <laughs> Come out to play. Uh, where can I find this? Uh, sorry. What do I get for doing this? No. No, that's a fair question. Naturally, I would not expect you to perform such a feat on my behalf without some sort of compensation. I would be willing to free Deacon from my service, for instance. Does that inter interest you? It is a good start. <laughs> Very well. You will have that and other rewards as well for his, f for his freedom. It's but a small thing. Now, will you do as I ask? Uh, very well. I agree. Because you look... Um, Maybe a little bit too mighty for me to face just yet. Just yet. But I would be- I am brave enough! I'm sure you are. And I could do it! Yes, certainly. Now, let's continue. Such words are pleasant to hear. Very well, little one. A bargain it is. Bargaining with a dragon, da? Your call. As they say in Shadowrun, never make a deal with a dragon. But we aren't giving much choice here. Because, you know, he will eat us. Here, I'm giving you a flask full of powder. Use it on Jinnah and she, she will be severely weakened. It plays havoc, you see, with her unique physiology. Another gift for you. This key, do you see that square-shaped rock beside the wall? Use the key on it, and you will be brought straight outside. Head south of these mountains and into the region you call High Forest. There is a cave of gnolls that did which uh, there are which the Na rules. Go and do what must be done, Warmling. I wish you luck. So that's a very scary dragon. And uh I don't think it's wise to fiddle around in his uh, desk. He might take offense to that. Insert the stone to some keel. And we're out. Good. So, we will need to kill Jinna and her gnolls. I hope Juna isn't another dragon. Don't seem like it, but uh, who knows. Because yeah, we won't be killing Timovar at our current level, I fear. So it's nice that they give you the option to try. If you have maybe a rudder. Insanely made well, well built. That can do it. 
I'm curious to hear if uh, maybe I should look that up sometime if people have just uh, killed Timovar without resorting to tricks or such or just have a good build. Did I see some? No, that's just weird. Shadows. Because we are still looking for that shadow heart here as well. The uh, white deer for the hunter. Evelanta was nice to us, so it's only fair. Indeed. Him up there. Is he maybe playing down here? No, that's a normal deer. We should still kill it! Because deer is good eating! Maybe I should have made uh, the other fat body type. <laughs> Dun 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 It's the deer over here. I'm going to sell it around here. No. No. White deer. Well, if I find it, we will turn uh, the next episode of that. If not, we will be out uh, in High Forest, which was the map. Is this, the, uh, this is the map. Which I think, yeah, uh, no, that's hilt. Here, that's over here. So we will have gone down there. Or have found a white ha white heart when we return. So, cliffhanger!